If you want the exclusive, you want the tall boy, because he's going to bring you the exclusive. Yeah, I, I tell you, this is a tough, tough issue. Uh, and uh, I say it's a tough issue because I've spent significant time studying this issue and seeing what's happened in places like Brooklyn and Harlem, seeing what's happening in Dallas and Charlotte and Houston, uh, what's happening in the Los Angeles Arts District. Uh, and just, it's been a tough issue that I think uh, I haven't seen solved. Uh, and I haven't seen good, uh, I haven't seen a good solution happen in a major city. And so I, I don't think there's a silver bullet. Uh, I'll tell you some of the things that I am considering and I'm going to be open to work with uh, affordable housing advocates to come up with more solutions. But a couple of things that I'm considering, one is uh, looking for a way to cap the uh, property taxes for individuals who have invested in particular neighborhoods that are now you know, developing, uh, but they've been there for 10 years and they've been there for 15 years. We ought to figure out how we cap uh, their property taxes. You know, recently I was reading an article in the AJC uh, that some, uh, that Fulton County tax assessor was uh, raising some property taxes by over 50%. Uh, for people who lived in for old, old Fourth Ward, for example, I mean, I don't think that that's a, I don't think that's an appropriate, you know, response for people who have invested long time in neighborhoods. And so I think if we can figure out a way to cap people's property taxes so that they don't get priced out of their neighborhoods, we ought to explore that option. Uh, I think we can ask the state for a waiver. Uh, the state doesn't allow cities to right now the law that the state has doesn't allow cities to set uh, ceilings to set rent ceilings so that rents don't rise over a certain percentage per year. I think that uh, we can ask the state for a waiver in the city of Atlanta. Uh, I've always had a good working relationship with the state uh, in my years in city government. Uh, I think that the city ought to lobby the state for a waiver of that rule because what we've seen happen in, in, in our, in our uh, inner core of our city is rents rising 33 and 40 and 45 percent and like you said pricing people out of out of their homes and we've had a little bit of a rent crisis in the city of Atlanta. We should ask the state for a waiver. We should cap uh, the percentage in which you can raise a rent uh, year over year over year. So those are some of the solutions working with developers to create more affordable housing opportunities. I think we've got to revisit what we actually consider affordable housing. I think the city passed, I believe the city passed legislation that said affordable housing was about 80% of average median income. I think that number probably needs to be a little bit lower. Uh, and so we've got to revisit what we consider affordable housing. We've got to do a better job of working with developers uh, so that a percentage of the new developments they create have affordable housing in them. You know, we can explore, you know, uh, property tax caps and we can explore rent ceiling caps. Uh, but I think those are some of the things I'm thinking about, but I'm going to be working with affordable housing advocates to make sure we do that we do address this issue. Think big, think tall, think tall boy. T tall boy.